y'all and welcome to today's video. I'm so happy because my friend Allie Dawson is launching her collection Falling in Love. We have beautiful lip duo. We have a beautiful palette. I'm so happy, so excited for my friend. We're going to create a look. We're going to swatch everything. We're going to chat. Let's jump into it. <music> Allie is a good friend of mine. I love her so much and she has launched this collection or is launching. It's going to launch on September 5th. I will put the time and everything down below in the description box, but look at this palette. Look at this palette. This is the Falling in Love palette. Allie loves fall. This is a fall color story. I tried to kind of match. See, like I pulled out a fall colored shirt. I think we're going to be able to use all of these shades on the eyes today. And then she also has a lip duo. So let me show you a close up and swatches of these just so that you can see how it all swatches out. I love, like this is very alley. She loves fall. These are fall tones. So beautiful. The uh, liquid lipstick and the lip gloss are Kaya and Koa her puppies. Allie and I both have German Shepherds. So I love that. I love that those are her lip product names. Just so fun. And we're going to play with the palette. I do have the lip duo on now. I wanted to show you swatches and on me. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Maybe if you're around my same skin tone, but I just love Allie. I can't say enough good things. I got to meet her and her husband and she got to meet my family back in April and we're actually going to be meeting up again this month. I cannot wait. Like I'm so excited to hang out again. It's going to be such a good time. Now I'm going to test this shadow palette. We're going to try it on the eyes. Again, we're going to go for a fall look to fit with the falling in love theme. I'm ready to play with this. I know Allie would not create a product that wasn't good. So I'm expecting a beautiful look. I actually have somewhere to be tonight. So I'm looking forward to wearing this fall look out. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm so like, I'm excited. Okay. Like these are all new shades to the Ofra line that Allie created. It makes me so happy. I'm going to throw down my MAC paint pot and lay in low. I'm going to zoom y'all in and we are going to play, but isn't the lip combo so beautiful? When I swatched it, I was like, yeah, this is going to be beautiful. So I'm loving the lip, but I'm ready to do the eyes. Okay, so we are going to start off first with this beautiful orange shade. This shade is called Sweater Weather. Nope, nope, Bonfire. Bonfire, sorry. So we're going to start with this beautiful orange. I've got my BK Beauty 206 brush, and I'm going to pick up this orange shadow. I'm going to make sure I don't have any creases in my primer, and we are just going to press this straight on top of the primer like this kind of all in the socket i'm just pressing first and then i'll go and blend after that such a beautiful color very like burnt fall leaves type of color gorgeous gorgeous okay we've got our orange down let's take it to another level with this deep dark burgundy this is called sweater weather so i'm gonna pick this up this is a 211 brush and i want to just keep this right out here in my outer corner so i'm just gonna put it on the lid and then up and kind of layer it over where we have that orange like this just pressing it on here kind of coming out and then blending out and around really getting the fall leaves look going you know but i want to put down this green shade called evergreen i want to put that on my lower lash line 
So once I have that kind of how I want it, we're gonna blend more in a minute, but let me grab a brush. This is a 209 with Evergreen, and this is gonna go right on the lower lash line. I'm gonna stamp it on first. So like pressing it right there underneath my eye, and then I'm going to blend back and forth. I can so, so, so see Allie's love for fall in this palette. I definitely can. I'm going to have her channel linked down below. You should definitely go check her out. I'm just going back in with the first brush now, kind of blending a little bit. But you should definitely go check her out. She'll be linked in the description box. She has all the fall vibes in her in her makeup room <laughs> right now so definitely go watch her if you have not seen her videos oh that's pretty i'm bringing the green pretty low because i want to be able to see that even after i put mascara and all on you know okay here's how our look is coming together i really want to go in now with the yellow shade hayride and I'm going to pick this up. This is a 212 brush. And I'm going to use this just kind of right in here on like top. Not really on top of the orange, but kind of like where I stopped with the orange. And then a little bit onto it. And then I'm also going to wrap it around right out here. Back and forth. I have a little patch of dry skin right here. So if you see anything... It's my skin. Like, I uh, just have a little bit of dry skin right there. It's not the shadows, but look how nice that looks. This is such a, like, perfect color story for fall inspired. You know, like, such beautiful, beautiful tones. Allie. Very proud of you, very excited for you. Just gonna buff that back and forth, wrap it around, blend, being very gentle. I don't want like a ton of yellow. I just want these shades to kind of fade out to the yellow. Now we are ready for this center shade. We've got four mattes, we've got one very intense shade here in the center. This is called White Pumpkin. So I am looking forward to trying this. I see it's a shimmery pale champagne used to highlight or on top of shadows is what Allie says. So I'm going to pick this up on my 203 brush. I'm going to pick it up on my brush and then I'm going to spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray. We're going to put this on the lid. We're not going to pull it all the way out to the outer corner. We're not going to cover up this burgundy shade, but we are going to use it as an inner corner highlight. Okay, I've got that that's intense. That's pretty. That's got some really pretty sparkle to it. Look at that. So I'm going to press that on. I'm using a brush that's kind of fluffy, which will give like more fallout. I don't care about fallout. I'll brush it away. I like using a fluffy brush because it really like just the way it presses the shimmer on I feel like it kind of enhances the shimmeriness. So if you're seeing fallout and you're like, oh my gosh, one, it's my brush choice. Two, I just like don't care about fallout. I wipe it away. It's not a big deal to get this payoff on my eye. Like that's so cool. I do want to throw on mascara. I want to throw on probably a half lash and then I will be back. And we'll talk about how awesome my friend Allie is somewhere. Here is our look, y'all. Thank you, Allie, for making me feel beautiful today. I am so happy with my look. I feel so ready for fall. I need a pumpkin spice latte something because... These tones are so beautiful together. I can't wait to use this palette again and like pack that green all 
over my crease. I think that's going to be so pretty. I cannot wait to use this collection again. The Lip Duo, the palette. Remember, launching September 5th. I know I'm going to have this video up before the launch so that y'all can see. But Allie, I'm so happy for you. You should be so proud. I hope that you are. I am very happy with my look in case you couldn't tell, but I'm pretty sure you can. I threw on some liner and a lash. I will link that down below because it's the Melt Liner in Rich Brown and the Johnny Half Lash. I am of course wearing Allie's Lip Duo, but I am also wearing like for blush and all, I'm wearing my Laura Lee Blush Aesthetics palette. I mix some shades and then I also mix some shades in my Stella palette from Adept. So that is what is on my cheeks. My earrings are made by, by Glam Latte. I'll have it all in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day. Definitely head over to Allie's channel. Tell her congratulations. Remember, you can always support your favorite creators by watching their videos, commenting, liking them, sharing them. I know Allie would really appreciate it if you went and gave her reveal video a thumbs up. I know she has lots of tutorials on her channel, all kinds of stuff. But I want to say thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoy this look. I hope you had fun watching. I hope you're having the best, most wonderful day. Please do subscribe if you want my videos to keep showing up on your subscription feed. I have lots of fun videos coming for y'all and I'll see you soon in another one. Bye!